All right, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to um, properly administer a soaps and suds enema. Um, so because we were going to use our IV bag, well, from practicing, my IV bag is no longer really functional. So I rigged up my own contraption. So this is now my tubing and this is now my bag. So before we begin, I'm going to just let you know, I filled up my bag with a thousand milliliters of tap water before I even entered the room today. Um, and so I have that all ready to go. So I'm gonna enter into the room. I'm gonna knock, I'm gonna perform hand hygiene as I enter, and I'm going to introduce myself. So, hi, how are you today? That's good. I'm Rebecca, I'm gonna be the student nurse working with you. Um, can you tell me your name and your date of birth? All right. And can I take a look at that um, bracelet over there and you tell me if you have any allergies? All right, sounds good. So today your doctor ordered um, an enema to help with the constipation you've been having. So I'm gonna walk you through everything as we go along. Um, it should only take a couple minutes. It won't be the most comfortable thing, but if you feel any extreme cramping or any cramping at all, just let me know and we can stop we can slow everything down, whatever you need to make this more comfortable for you. All right? All right. So before we get started with the enema though, I do just want to take, do um, an abdomen assessment. So it doesn't look like your abdomen's distended at all. And do you have any tenderness as I palpate the abdomen? No? All right, well, that's good. So now going back to our enema, um, I am going to add the Castile soap into the solution. So I'm adding the Castile soap, imaginary soap, and I'm agitating the solution. And now I'm going to prime my tubing. So I took off the clamp to do that. I'm gonna put the clamp back on and I'm going to lubricate the last three to four inches. So I lubricated that. And now I'm gonna put my gloves on. Give the animals good to go. And I'm going to turn my patient onto their left side. And I do have tape on just to be able to show where the target zone is, okay? So from there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna pad the patient's bed so that way this doesn't get everywhere. So I patted the bed. Next I'm gonna take my bag and I am gonna leave this plastic container here just because I don't want the water getting all over. Um, so I'm going to insert the tubing because like I said it's already lubricated and I'm gonna go towards the umbilicus. So actually, I'm gonna go over here so you can see like how I would do it. So I'm gonna go towards the umbilicus and I'm gonna go about three to four inches in. And once I have that, I'm going to remove my clamp and I'm going to release my, or I'm gonna bring my bag up about no more than 18 inches. So when my bag's up higher at 18 inches, my enema is going in nice and fast. And then if I lower the bag, it slows down. And then if I need to stop it, because let's say they're complaining of cramping, I can just put the clamp back on, give them some time, and we'll do it, we'll finish the rest. So we're gonna say that we administered as much of that enema as they can handle. And so I have the clamp back on because there's still some left. I, when I pulled the enema out, I wrap the paper towel around it so that way we don't get it everywhere. And then I'm just gonna stick that off to the side. All right, we get the gist. And then I'm going to pull out this pad, throw it in the trash, and I'm gonna roll my patient back onto their back. And then from there, I'm going to Make sure I inform the patient that um, I would really like them to hold their bowels for the next five to 15 minutes, just so that enema has time to work. And I'm going to raise the head of the bed up, put the bed rail back up, and I'm gonna make sure they have their call bell and let them know that whenever they're ready to go to the bathroom, 
and just press their call bell and I'll be back in. So fast forward 10 minutes, they press the call bell, I go back in. We're gonna pretend that this patient is ambulatory. So we're gonna have them get up, walk to the bathroom. They're gonna do their um, business and then I'm gonna make sure to remind them, do not flush the toilet because we need to go in and um, see the results of what the enema produced. And then I'll get them comfortably back into bed again. And that is how you perform an enema. So yeah.